Hi everyone, it is Weigh In Wednesday and you know what that means. It is the day that I get on the scale in the morning after one cup of coffee and I get some feedback from the scale as to how I did for the week. So let's jump into the video. Now this one is going to be short and sweet because I have a video to film for you today that I think you guys are going to be pretty excited about. I have been hearing some rumors. The rumor mill has been spinning about new programs for 2022. For those of us who are on Weight Watchers, on WW, that is pretty interesting stuff. So I want to get that film for you guys today while I have the time so that I can get that out for you this week. So that is my plan as soon as we do this weigh in video. So. How did I do this week? I am down 0.4. Totally fine with that. I will absolutely take it. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? What could I do better? Let's start with what could I do better? Because, you know, anytime you have a loss, unless I had like a big mistake, then I don't want to put anything in the category of what did I do wrong. So I'm going to avoid that this week. But there are some things that I could have done better that I think would have helped me with eating and cravings and maybe a little bit better loss, although I'm totally fine with point four. I That puts me, by the way, you guys, for the month, that for the four weeks that I've been doing this every single Wednesday coming on here, being accountable and sharing my, not only my weight with you, my loss, but my actual weight number. I've given that to you guys in a video I did like a week ago. So I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. But that said, for the past month, I am down as of today, 8.2 pounds, which you know what that says to me? It says that if you follow the program and you really actually track, weigh, measure, don't do any of the drive-by eating, you know what I mean? You walk by the counter, there's a half a muffin there, bing, you pop it in your mouth. You walk by the counter later on, you notice that somebody left out a whatever, bing, in your mouth. When you do that drive-by eating, that adds up, especially if you're in, like say you're 20 pounds from goal, I'm telling you, that will chase you down. That will get you. It gets me every time. So what could I do better? What I think I could have done better this week to maybe have a little bit, like I said, better loss or possibly um, less cravings is pull the carbs back just a little bit. So this week I had rice as a side dish with meatballs twice. Was that on my meal plan, you ask? Why no, it was not. Very good question. It was not on my meal plan. So I veered off my meal plan. Why did I do that? Because the kids came over, my daughter, the grandkids. Kevin is back now. Kevin is here. You know what that means. That means I'm probably going back to Florida soon. I'm having trouble with that, but we'll we'll do another video on that when I when I'm ready to talk about all that. But anyway, you guys know I've been here a long time in Missouri. Anyhow, um I I made rice for the kids. The kids always ask me to make rice or pasta or something like that. And my granddaughter, grandma, I want rice and bread. So she's a carb girl. She's only five. So I made that. And I also made myself some chicken meatballs. You know, I, I prepped chicken. And so I did some chicken burgers and I did some chicken meatballs. Normally I eat those chicken meatballs and I'm totally fine. But because I was making the rice and I had to taste it and I haven't had a lot of carbs for a while, I ended up, you know, how was I? Did I get a blue dot for the week? Yes, I did. Did I stay in point? Yes, I did. Did I go over my weeklies? No, I did not but it it will stall me see that just to me it proves it every single time that it matters what you eat in your 23 points or your 33 points or your 53 points whatever it is you get it matters what you put in those points so that's that's the big thing that i think i could have done better i could have made better choices so what did i do right I did a meal plan. I stuck to that meal plan 
for the most part, I'm going to say 80% I stuck to that meal plan. And I have been successful with not eating um, poorly on the weekends. I've been asked to go out to eat. And, you know, a lot of times I just don't go. And I know that I always tell you guys, don't do things that are not sustainable. So can I never go out to eat? No, I really enjoy going out to eat. But just right now, at this point in time in my life, it isn't something that I need to do. And I am, I've gotten very comfortable with saying, if you guys want to go out to eat and come over after, come over after. And, you know, we can hang out, we can talk, we can sit outside. You know, the kids like to do marshmallows, ride their bikes. I have some hot tea. So I have just adjusted things to say, if I don't feel prepared to go out to eat, if I know that family is going to go to a restaurant that is going to be hard for me to order something, then I've gotten completely comfortable with telling people, just come over, come see me after, or I'll go do something with you after. And it works perfectly fine. And I think people are getting used to it. You know, in the beginning, they would say, oh, come on, what's it going to kill this? You know, even Kevin, even Kevin, when he came back from Florida, he drove in and he said, I stopped at Mario's. I'm getting this, that, and the other for his ride home to eat for himself. And he said, and I got you a surprise. Now, I know what they have at Mario's. I know what's there. It's nothing that is going to be diet friendly for me. And I said, Kevin, I whatever you got me, you need to eat it because I appreciate that you did that. But I know that's going to be something that I can't eat. Well, he comes, you know, certainly comes back with it, shows it to me. He got me 12, not even like one or two. He got me 12 amaretto cookies. Now, is that fair or is that sabotage? He knows. He wants an eating partner. And in these almost three months that I've been here in St. Louis with him not being here, I'm telling you guys, I have realized that he, you know, I control myself, but he, he is a saboteur. He really is. And I don't think he realizes he's doing it. I think he just wants an eating partner, but I don't, I, you know, I don't want to eat that kind of stuff. So anyway, I, I didn't want to be mean, but I said, I told him, I said, you need to eat it. The kids need to eat it. Somebody needs to eat it. The trash needs to eat it, but it is not going to be me that's eating a dozen amaretto cookies. I'm just not. So anyway, that's how the week went. I'm happy with my loss. So I will see you soon.